At United Way, we are more than fundraisers. We are the hand raisers to try to figure out how we can help the children of our community with early childhood education. Hi, my name is Nate Klein. I'm the chair of the Young Leadership Society and someone very passionate about giving back to our youth because in order to have a successful community, we need successful adults. And in order to get successful adults, we need literate children. And unfortunately, that's a problem in many communities, including our own. In fact, one in three children enter kindergarten not ready to read. They're just not proficient in reading. But we can do something to help, and we are doing something to help. And it's thanks to you, not only giving your time, but your talent and your treasure back to United Way and other organizations for programs like Head Start, Red Ahead, and others in our community making a difference. Now, it's really important to understand that these programs are happening, but I think what's even more important is to connect it with people. Now, our school districts are doing an amazing job, and parents are doing great, but as you've heard before, it takes a community to raise a child, and that's where United Way is. United Way is here in the middle to help people raise their hand to make a difference. And it's for those people living at the margins that we make a difference, because we've all been privileged in life, and we've all had struggles as well. But imagine there's only one book for every 300 children living in poverty. One book. And this really hits home for me because I just adopted my little girl, Lily, this last year. And I adopted her out of a situation where the parents were trying really hard. They just didn't have a steady home. And without a steady home, you don't have steady access to materials like books. And now Lily's one of her favorite things to do is to read. She walks up to me and backs up and says, read, book, book. And I can't imagine for one moment what that would have been like for her if she would have been in the situation where she was in. And it's up to all of us, myself and you, to figure out how we can make a difference for early childhood education. Whether that's giving of your time, talent, or treasure, finding something you're passionate about, and getting involved. And there's some amazing ways to get involved. You can give of your money, which we truly appreciate and will put to work with programs like Red Ahead and Head Start. Or you can say, hey, I want to get involved in programs like Volunteers and Proficiency and other programs at schools just to read to children. Because sometimes that's all it takes, is to showcase that it's important to read. So I challenge you to give your time, your talent, and your treasure for early childhood education. Because in the end, it truly makes a difference. Thanks.